your willingness to serve, to step forward at a time of war and say, send me, is the reason the United States stays strong and free. The next mission we're likely to be called upon is going to be configured just this way, multinationally. And whenever the next call does come, uh, everybody's prepared to go. Soldiers are extremely uh, resilient. The soldiers are able to adapt from the desert terrain to the woodland terrain here, the mountainous terrain here, and uh, they didn't miss a beat. Try to go to the northwest. Try to go to the presence here is, is a good reflection of what the United States Army and the Airborne community uh, has to offer. Phenomenal. From great soldiers, non-commissioned officers, and officers, these are the people who make Army leaders. sitting in the back seat doesn't make you just an extra person. You have a, a job to do. You represent the finest fighting force the world has ever known. In the years ahead, your country will call on you to continue that tradition. And I don't want you to ever forget why you are here or how vital your mission is to our national security. Our flag will always be there because the freedom and liberty it represents to the world will always be defended by patriots like you. All I ever wanted to be was a soldier. The strength of our nation is our army. The strength of our army is our soldiers. And the strength of our soldiers is our families. That's what makes us army strong.